Hey guys, welcome back to 1776 or Bust. So on the table in front of you, you see a bunch of handguns that I put out just so that you can see or get an idea of the type of options that you have out there for night sights. Now, there are some people out there who, when they buy a handgun, automatically will change the sights out because they just want a pair of night sights on there or maybe even some fiber optics. For me personally, I actually wind up going with um, night sights on all my handguns. Some of them I may actually be changing over to some fiber optics. I'm not exactly sure just yet. But what I'm going to show you are the sites that I use and the sites that I prefer. Now, do I have one specific brand that I would say is best? Um, no, I don't. Some people might say that the Trigicons are the best. I've had a set of Trigicons on a VP9, and I have to say, guys, they are excellent sites, fantastic. But even comparing them to some of the other sites that are slightly less in money, I would tell you that there are some advantages to them and some disadvantages. The, the Trigicons tend to be a little bit sharp on the edges as opposed to some of the other uh, sites. But again, their site picture is excellent. And uh, again, you couldn't go wrong with them if you decide to purchase them. Today, I don't have any Trichicons on any of mine any longer. Uh, I probably am not gonna be adding anything uh, like that soon uh, because I try to be a little bit more budget conscious uh, in regards to making sure that I can at least fit some night sights on all my handguns. With that being said, sometimes you have to literally cut costs. And as a result, you may not get those Trichicons that you want. But at the end, you're still gonna get a quality set of night sights. Now, one of the ones that I think uh, was really intriguing to me when I first started, um, you know, getting guns was always the TFXs. And, you know, they initially came out with the TFX and then they came out with the TFX Pro. They had some other sites. However, they weren't sealed. So when people were cleaning them, there were some issues with it. Now, in regards to the TFX Pros, you're, you're really getting a combination of really good stuff. You're getting some fiber optics, plus you're getting some night sights. Now, what that basically means is you can see with this site in particular, your front site, you have your little uh, fiber optic rod. It is also encapsulated, so it, it, there's nothing that can penetrate it, no oils, nothing like that. And then inside, you also have a tritium insert. So during the day, you have a very bright green uh, fiber optic rod. And then at night, you also have a very bright, um, excuse me, tritium uh, vial in there. So it does work, and it, a lot of people say that's the best of both worlds. Again, on the rear, you see your two green fiber optic rods, and of course you have your tritium inserts in the rear as well. So at night you get a pretty clean three dot picture at night. Uh, they, the TFX Pros um, kind of changed up the TFXs a little bit. They put that little orange circle or the orange ring around it so it would supposedly show up better. I don't necessarily believe that. I don't see it as much. Um, in my opinion, it is just not bright enough to really catch the eye as well as let's say something like an Ameriglo front or a Trigicon in the rear. Again, nothing uh, circling that. It's pretty much straightforward. And again, um, it has the U-notch in the back as opposed to the TFX, which had the square notch. Uh, overall, these are really good sights. Again, if you do like fiber optics, but you also wanna have that option of getting night sights for nighttime, then the TFX Pros, in my opinion, or even the TFX are probably a very good go-to sight for you. If you don't necessarily want the fiber optic, then you know what, you could probably pass these over. Price-wise, uh, they're, they're pretty moderately priced. They're not super expensive, but they're also not super cheap. Uh, it also depends on where you go to buy these. If you go to like your typical um, stores or websites, you're gonna probably pay a little bit more. I would always advise check eBay first. Um, even sometimes Amazon, you can find very good deals on these. Uh, that's actually where I got these. And I actually got these for about $107. So again, can't really complain. It's got a very nice side picture. And it does the job. So if again, if you're looking for something in between where you got the fiber optic and the tritium, this would probably be the best site for you. Now, one of the other sites that I've actually been kind of favoring a lot recently, interestingly enough, are the big dots from Excess Sites. And uh, I have to tell you guys, uh, the big dots for me, for whatever reason, I actually like them quite a bit. Now, would I tell you they're the best sites out? Again, it's going to be you know subjective to the person. I like them because I do like the fast acquisition on the target. You know, again, with the big dot, you basically get this, and let me see if I can get in there. You basically get this big white globe in the front with your tritium insert in the middle. And then in the rear, you just basically get this vertical line. Now, all you need to do when you're gonna go shoot is you wanna basically just uh, kind of line up that globe with that line so that it's clear on picture. Now, again, I would say these are probably some of the best uh, personal de self-defense kind of sites because it is super fast. You basically, all you really need to do most of the time is just take this big dot, point it at where you want it to hit, and it usually will go there. Again, if you want to be a little bit more accurate, obviously you'd want to line it up with that vertical notch. 
and then try to get it so that it's almost like a snow cone look, like just about that. Again, you can also adjust up and down, left and right, just depending on what you want to shoot. But for the most part, the big dots are excellent sights for what they're meant to be, and that's a self-defense sight. Now, of course, I've heard things that you can hit with, you know, these, you know, I've seen a video where um, I think somebody was hitting like 200 yards out, supposedly, with these. I'm not going to do that uh, because I'm not that good of a shot. But for self-defense, uh, I pretty much would say these are a very good sight for that uh, particular objective. So again, excess big dots, they come with the big dot in the front, or they also have the standard dot, which is a little bit smaller. Uh, me personally, for self-defense, the big dot is, is perfect. I, I don't see you guys having any issues with that. Again, it doesn't have any fiber optics. It's all just tritium, but you do get the vertical line tritium vial in the back with the circular uh, vial in the front. And it does make for a pretty nice nighttime picture as well. So if you've ever used them, you probably know what I'm talking about. And just so you know, I also have them fitted on my PPQ. Uh, again, great site acquisition. No issues with those whatsoever. Uh, they work. They function very well. And uh, I've been very happy with them. I also have uh, a little bit different of a version on my Steyr M9. And again, with the Steyr M9, the only thing they don't have is the actual vertical tritium in the back. So it's just one dot in the front. In the, in the daytime, it's not going to matter too much. At nighttime, it really doesn't matter that much either. Because as soon as you bring the gun to eye level, you're seeing the, the uh, tritium insert in the front. And honestly, guys, I think it works perfectly day or night. So again, if you're looking for a fast type of acquisition on target, you might want to consider those, um, those big dots. Because they work very well for that. Another great sight um, that I've actually favored quite a bit in a lot of my handguns has been the sights created from Ameriglow. Now, there's no secret, guys, that I absolutely love Ameriglow sights. I think their quality is excellent. I also think you're getting quite a bit of a package for the money. I mean, a lot of their sights, depending on what you get, if you get cap sights, if you get uh, hackathons, you can find those easily for, you know, 50, 60, even sometimes $70 depending on the gun and depending on you know the options that you put on there. Um, some of the more expensive sites, the ones that are over $100, for example, these that I have on the Glock 19, these are their Spartan sites. And uh, I did a review on these, and these are excellent sites. I cannot complain. These are probably some of the nicest sites I've had on any handgun, and that includes the Trigicons. Now, of course, you get your orange front to the uh, front on the site there. This, to me, is perfect. It shows up ex just perfectly well daylight. Um, nighttime or even in the transition from day to night i have to tell you guys these are sites are fantastic you have a lot of rounded edging so there's not a lot of sharp uh, areas on the site that are going to catch you um, you can also do obviously one hand manipulations because of the shelf in the back so overall the side picture is excellent the little u notch in the back there is is just it's wide enough to get a good clear picture and at the same time not too wide where you kind of get thrown off a little bit Overall, I've never been disappointed by Ameriglow. Everything they have made um, has always worked for me, and it's always been fantastic. As a matter of fact, whenever I eventually get uh, that gun right there, these are going to be going on there as well. So you can see these are actually the uh, Ameriglow Spartans also, and uh, I absolutely love them. Pretty awesome. And I've also had IDOT Pros on some of my guns as well. Those are excellent as well. Very similar to the XS sight system. Um, or as most of you know, the straight eight system. So again, Mariglow has always come out on top. One of the other sites that I'm actually going to be putting on a handgun are these right here. And I'm going to see if I can find them really quick. Let me see if I can find them. There they are. So one of the other sites I went ahead and got, and this again is for another gun that I still have yet to get. And you can see what it says right there. Um, so once eventually the uh, judge who has my my information gets off his lazy hiney and actually does something, I'll actually get this handgun. But one of the things that you're going to notice, these are the new uh, Tritium Pros from True Glow. And I, you know, at first I didn't know if I wanted to get them, but then I saw some reviews on them and I said, okay, these look pretty solid. And honestly, guys, I paid 75 bucks for these and uh, that might be a little high, but uh, that was the lowest I could find them. And that was with uh, shipping included. And I found that on eBay. So again, you can see you have your typical three dot sight system. Okay. Um, these are actually a little bit darkened uh, for daylight. So they don't show up much when you point the gun. Although I won't know that until I get the gun. But then you notice on the front, you see a big white globe. And boy, doesn't that look, doesn't that look familiar? Hmm. So anyway, uh, basically what this works as or how it works is that when you do line up your shot, these will kind of go black. So you have a black rear with a big white globe in the front. 
and that'll show up really, really nicely. At least I'm hoping. Now, of course, when I get the gun, I get them, you know, when I install them, I'll do another review on it. But right now, it looks like it's going to work really well. And then at night, you have these two uh, rear tritium vials in the back and the front tritium in the front. So you get your three dot sight. And I will tell you, I've held these in the dark. These don't glow as bright as the front. So you're going to get a pretty quick acquisition. So right now, as it seems, for the price, you're getting a U notch, you're getting three uh, tritium inserts. You can't go wrong with this either, guys. I mean, we are so lucky right now because we have so many awesome things that are coming our way. There's a lot of manufacturers of great products out there that are really taking their time to do what needs to be done. And I have to say, guys, I really appreciate that because for me, as somebody who has multiple handguns and who wants to save some money, you can't go wrong with a lot of the products that are out there right now. I have yet to find one that um, really doesn't serve a purpose and serve that purpose well. So for me, if I was going to rate rate any of these, um, you know, personal preference, I love Ameriglo. Um, I really like the XS Big Dots, and I'm really digging this uh, this Tritium Pro site right now. So for me, I have to say, guys, we're super lucky. So I'd like to hear what you have to say. What sites do you like? What type of site picture do you like? Which ones have you used? Which ones have been uh, great experiences, and which one have been huge failures? So let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me who you favor. Tell me who you don't. Um, so that other people get an idea of what's good out there. So hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe out there as always. And freedom is never free.